we see resilience in happy people. Is it possible to better recover from the bad things that happen if we're already happy? Psychologist Ed Diener thinks so. We know that anger and depression is going to shorten your life, it's going to weaken your immune system, but on contrary wise, enjoying life, really loving life, having meaning and purpose in life, we know now that those things don't just come from being healthy, they cause you to be on average healthier. Diener says science has also mapped out how anyone can improve their outlook. Certain things like meditation, gratitude, compassion, going out of your way to help others, not just wait for people to help you, but be one of those people who helps others. And we know that that's a very good way to make yourself happier. Recent headlines have many believing the world has never been in a worse place. Diener disagrees. Think about what went on before, World War I, World War II, the Depression. So there's always going to be problems. He wants us to know that despite the bad things that have happened to good people, there's a lot of good still to be seen. Thousands of people coming forward and helping, giving blood. Thousands of people giving millions of dollars to the hurricane victims. So there's a lot more good in the world. Diener encourages us to look at the good people in our own lives and look for opportunities to help others through volunteering. It starts to make you feel meaningful, you have purpose, you know you're doing good things, and also it makes you worry a little less about your own personal problems when you start focusing on helping other people. He's also encouraging leaders in the world to pay more attention to the value of psychological health. It's not just feeling good, happiness, but actually makes workers, if they love their job, they work harder, it makes them healthier, better social relationships, so all kinds of good things come from it.